Welcome to the Robot Studio tutorial about AutoPath. Here we will take a look at how to use the function. Move and rotate targets. Align target orientation. Auto configuration. And move along path. On this headlamp part, we will create a glue seam. Go to Path, and click Auto Path. First input is to select edge or curve. By holding down the shift key the selection will extend. When selection is OK just press left mouse button. Use circular motion parameter. Click Create and Close. AutoPath creates a path including all motion parameters. We will now set the path in the middle of the connection surface. Select all targets. Right click and choose Modify Target and set position. Set position to 1 mm in X and reference local. Click apply. Then click close. When taking a look at the path again, it is now in the middle of the surface. Right click at the first target. Use the function view tool at target. The orientation need to be fixed. Right click the first target again. Choose modify target and rotate. Rotate target 180 degrees around Y. Click apply. Right click the first target and choose jump to target. The robot will jump to where this first target is located at the set orientation. You will see here that the robot has a good configuration. Multi-select the rest of the targets. Apply the same rotation. Click close. Click the first target and click your way down to see how each target behaves. Target seems OK but with unnecessary rotation around tool Z. Multi-select targets 20 to 230. Right click and choose modify target and use align target orientation. Click on Target 10, as this is the reference. Click Apply, and Close. Do the same test again by clicking down on each target. Now it is perfect. Stop View Tool at Target. By right-clicking on a target, choose View Tool at Target, and uncheck the Glue Gun Z3X. Make the Auto Configuration. By right-click on the path, choose Configurations, and Auto Configuration. And last use move along path. By right click on the path again, choose move along path. It will take a little time for the virtual controller to start the program.